Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So in this video, we are going to be covering how to find the volume of rectangular prisms. Now rectangular prisms are three dimensional shapes. So what volume is, is finding out the amount of space that object takes up, three dimensional space. So there's a couple formulas we use and they're up top here to find the volume of a rectangular prism. Now we're gonna hop into number one and just go through a few examples here so you can get this down. Now, the V stands for volume in our formula, and then this L right here stands for length times width times height. Or another formula you may see is this capital B, which stands for the area of the base times the height. Now, these formulas are basically the same thing because length times width will give you the area of the base, the area of the base, which you just multiply by height. So either way, you're gonna get the same answer and they're basically the same thing. I'm going to use this one right here, length times width times height. So I always like to write my formula out. This is always a good habit um, to get into. And then we're gonna plug in our values for length, width, and height. So volume equals length times width times height. Now we go over to our model here and we see the length is one foot times our width right here is three feet times our height, which is two feet. Then we multiply those together and that will give you the volume of that rectangular prism. How many cubic feet would fill that prism? How much space it takes up? So one times three is three, times two is six. Now we always wanna label our answer and we look back at our model and we see feet. And what we do for volume is we put a little three up here and this means six cubic feet. Okay, six cubic feet. That's how many cubic feet it would take to fill that rectangular prism. Or you could say six feet cubed, either one. Now let's go to number two here. Write out our formula. Volume equals length times width times height. Plug in. Length going back is five. Our width is four. And our height is 15. So what we would do now is multiply these out and we would get to 300 inches cubed or 300 cubic inches. Five times four is 20 times 15 is 300, 300 inches cubed. All right, let's go to number three. Volume equals length times width times height. Plug in. Our length going back is four. Our width is 10. And our height is two centimeters. So we multiply out. Four times 10 is 40 times two, 80 centimeters cubed. Formula, plug in, answer. And then let's go to number four. Now there's something special about number four and I put this in very specifically because you have to pay attention before you start some of these problems. One thing should pop out about the height on this rectangular prism. It doesn't make sense in comparison to the others. As you notice, the width is four. That side is not as long as that one foot. It's because we have inches here and this is feet for our height. If that happens, you need to convert everything to the same unit of measurement. It's going to be easier to convert feet into inches and then plug in. So one foot is 12 inches. So we know our height is going to be 12 inches. Now everything's in inches and we're good to go. So formula, volume equals length times width times height. Plug in, our length is two inches width is four, and our height is 12 inches, remember, 
Don't put one, we need inches. Two times four is eight, and eight times 12 is 96. So 96 cubic inches. So there you have it. There is how you find the volume of rectangular prisms. Your formula, length times width times height, or again, you may see the area of the ba base times height sometimes. Both are basically the same thing. So it's now, now time for you to try some on your own over at the Mastery Check. I dropped the link below. You're gonna, you are going to try four examples to see if you have it down. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, peace.